Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans, I am your host Joe Zamora here and we are doing our week 2 battle against James. Alright guys, as you can see his team's very scary but we do have answers to his team. We have uh, Warts to counter his Tapu Koko. We got Boogeyman to counter, I believe, okay, got everyone. Um, Sylveon for most part, as long as it's not dark. Um, we have Terrakion on uh, Choice Scarf Sweeping cleanup duty. So let's see how this goes. Good luck, have fun, James. And I hope y'all enjoy the new layout for the CDL draft. I switched it up just a little bit. All right, James sends out Sylveon, and we're going to send out Return Me. Return the slab or suffer my curse. All right, we're going to go ahead and play it safe here. Get our stealth rocks up. <clears throat> Lower that want of pivotal switching. Okay, so he does stay in and go for the attack here, but we get our stealth rocks up, so I'm okay with that trade. And we got our leftovers up, so that's good. Alright, now we're going to make a switch here. And we're safe to go to the boogeyman here. So I'm going to go ahead and make that play. P possibly light screen the next play, depending on what he does. But wait, we uh, take this resisted hit pretty well. All right, he actually goes for Hyper Voice and knocks us out. He must have predicted the switch. Holy crap. That was a great play on his part. But it's okay because here we have... Man, not much to switch into this. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and get Warts out there. We are Assault Vested, so we should be able to take any hit. Uh, the only bad thing is if he is uh, Grass Knot on Tapu Koko, this is uh, wearing down our counter to that thing. Alright, we're fast. We get the Poison Jab off. And of course, pretty defensive. It does over half. And we get the Poison. But let's see what this thing decides to go for here. It goes for Hyper Voice. And it does about a quarter of our health. Leftovers coming off, but poison will negate that. And uh, the next poison jab should knock it out. I mean, he has Reggie Steel, but uh, I'm not going to play the prediction game because I don't think Earthquake knocks out if he stays in. So I'm just going to go for the poison jab again. All right, so he did switch, which is fine. But now we can hard counter to Corviknight here. All right, so it did have it did it did have it does have air balloon, so it wasn't worth the risk anyway. But let's go ahead and go to Nightwing here. All right, he goes for the toxic and it doesn't work. So let's see what he decides to do here. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the body press. Alright, let's see how much body press does. It does a good amount. It does almost... It does over half... It does over a quarter. He does get his own stealth rocks up, so that does hurt. Oh, not too bad. I'm not too worried about it. But I'm just going to go ahead and go for another body press here. And it looks like we will need two more hits. Oh, goes for Seismic Toss on us, and that's fine. He's hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Um, I'm going to go for Body Pre... I'm going to go for... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go for Assurance. And then uh, next turn, he should knock himself out to uh, Rocky Helmet if he doesn't die here. Which I hope not. I wanna I want him to live here so I can roost and he can go for another seismic toss. 
But Rocky Helmet does take it out. So we should have just went for the body press there. It's okay. We are still in a good position. All right, Tapu Koko comes in. Uh, it all comes down to this. Does he have the grass knot? So I'm going to scout it here. We don't really need Rune Regis anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to Rune Regis here to scout for that uh, grass knot. And we still resist a Thunderbolt if he goes for Thunderbolt. Okay, he goes for the Volt Switch. Doesn't get it. So that's good. If he hard switches, he's most likely uh, banded or scarfed. But he could go for a hit. And even then, if he goes for a hit, he'll knock us out. So let's just go ahead and go for a Toxic Spikes here. Alright, so it looks like he might be... He might not have Grass Knot, so that's good for us. Alright, so the stones dig into Sylveon, and we get our Toxic Spikes off. So, so far, so good. I'm okay with sacking here. Okay, I'm just going to go for a T-Spikes again. I mean, uh, oh, he's going for the Wish. Very interesting. Probably predicted us to switch out here. But we get our two layers of Spikes, and we are good to go. So, if anything, we will be able to whittle down his team... Slowly but surely. And judging from the health we're getting back from our leftovers, we might be able to live the next Shadow Ball if it goes for it. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake on the off chance uh, we live the next hit. But it most likely goes Protect here. Oh no, it goes Shadow Ball. Let's see if we can live it. It'd be great if we could. Oh, we living. And Earthquake should knock this thing out. And it does. So Sylveon is no longer an issue. Way to go, Rune Regis. Setting up Stealth Rock, setting up Spikes, and still knocking out the... Knocking out the Sylveon. Okay, so Sylveon comes in. It looks like it's grass. Um, it probably goes defog here, so I'm just going to stay in and I'm just going to click the earthquake. I can't burn it, and it's already poisoned. It's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, it goes defog, which is fine. Let's get another massive attack off on this thing. Wow, Defog gets rid of everything now. But the good thing is, Stealth Rocks is off our side as well. Alright, so Silvali is in here. And we're going to go for Stealth Rocks. I mean, he's probably going to knock us out, but let's just get Stealth Rocks up. Break any potential sashes. Just in case. Okay, he goes Ice Fang here and connects. Knocks us out. Which is fine. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to pull the trigger on Thunderstruck just yet. Because he does have... The Tugtrio that can is most likely Focus Ash and could revenge kill us. Who does he have in the back? Okay, he has a lot of Pokemon in the back. I'm going to go ahead and go for the close combat to be safe. I doubt he goes Dragapult here. And this takes this thing out. So Silvali is down. 
Let's see what he goes to here. If it's Doug Trio, that's fine. Because we'll outspeed it since we're scarfed. He'll probably knock us out. Okay, so he does go Dragapult here. Oof. You can't let that thing set up too much. Let's go ahead and go out to Nightwing here. And he does go for the Dragon Dance. So not great for us, but you know, we could work around it. Let's just go ahead and go for the Assurance. Let's see if we live this hit. Oh no, he's Dynamaxing. We ain't living this. So since he is uh, plus one speed, he outspeeds us even after uh, Aerial Ace boost. So we really got to figure out a way to knock this thing out. I wish I didn't uh, lose Grimmsnarl so early. Yep, Nightwing goes down. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to Chanclas. And, uh, uh, let's see. I mean, he's going to be faster than us no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to go Chanclas here and I'm going to uh, Dynamax. Oh, wait, I can't Dynamax Chunkless. Oh, shit. I'm going to go Stone Edge here. I mean, he's going to hit us first. Uh, even Scarf, we're not going to outspeed. I think he sweeps us here. Great play. I didn't think he was going to go Dragapult that turn. I'm going to go Thunderstruck here. I mean, might as well. So we go f 0 and 2 in this league. Wow. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and go for the max. Let's go for max airstream. Try to get our speed boost. See if we can live two hits. But he's going to lower our attack, which is going to suck. Alright, do we live a hit? I doubt it. He is plus one. He's Dynamax. I know we're Dynamax, but we aren't defensive. Alright, no. That's it. That's it for us, guys. I'm going to let the battle play out. And thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in week three.